welcome to another episode of Witching Kitchen. I'm your host, Justina Carubia, and today I'm going to show you how to make an invigorating salt scrub that you can use as a spa treatment for your lovely little fairy bee. So it's a really rainy day in New Jersey today, and I wanted to film a book review for you guys under my little crab apple tree, but Mother Nature was just not having it. It's pouring out right now. And I also wanted to make a recipe from the book that I wanted to review, um, but I don't have any of the ingredients. So uh, I thought, let me just scrape something up for you guys, something fun that you guys can try at home maybe today if you have the ingredients. There's only a few. And if you don't have the specific ingredients that I have and you don't want to use the ingredients that I'm using, feel free to tailor it to your own tastes. We're going to be using some natural ingredients that you can find at your local farmer's market or even in your own pantry at home. So I'm also really excited to be using some of my doTERRA oils today. I have some lavender and some lemon and we're also going to be using a few natural ingredients to bring it all together. Here's what we're going to need to get started. So first things first, here I have my little purple candle, which puts me in a nice little witchy mood because it's raining outside and whenever it's raining I feel most inclined to do little kitchen crafts and little spells like this. So what we're going to need today is some dry lavender buds and I love these little things, they're so cute. Next we're going to need some fresh lemon and you're going to want to actually wash this before you use it to get rid of any pesticides or anything else that it might have picked up in the grocery store. As people pick these up, you know, they put their hands all over them, you don't know where it's been, so you definitely want to wash that before you use it. Um, next we're going to be using our doTERRA lavender oil and our lemon oil and these are both essential oils and the benefits of these are amazing. Lavender is great for calming and soothing and the lemon is just really great as an antibacterial and it's really invigorating and refreshing and it smells amazing. And we're going to be putting all this stuff together and mix it with a coarse all natural sea salt from the Mediterranean. Um, these are really thick crystals, so I'm excited to use these. Let's see, I'm gonna put a little bit in here so you can see how thick they are. They're pretty thick. So those are gonna feel really nice on our feet when we scrub with them. Um, also, you can use this as a bath salt as well. You could put a little bit of this in your bath and um, you know, it's really relaxing. I'm going to put all of my um, stuff in this old jar. Um, you can also use a little mason jar, but I didn't have any left. So I'm gonna fill this old jar with this sea salt right here. Um, but before we do all that, um, I'm gonna mix all these in ingredients together in a bigger bowl, and then we're gonna scoop it into here when we're done. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna take my sea salt and I'm gonna kind of just fill this whole jar with my sea salt just to measure it out, see how much I need. And I took the little topper thingy off of this uh, sea salt so I can get it out easier. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour it into our bowl. It's a lot of salt. All right, add some of our lavender. that a good mix and really get your hands in there and set your intentions for a nice soothing sea salt lavender bath if you want to use these as bath salts it's a great idea next we have our lemon and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our grater and we're just going to grate in some fresh lemon zest smell it already and it smells amazing. Oh my god. It smells great you guys. So this does take a while <laughs> but you can see all of the uh, lemons starting to come off the rind here. Oh my god, 
god, you guys, it smells so good. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to add a few drops of our doTERRA lavender essential oil. Since this is such a big batch, I think I'm gonna add about five. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Oh my god, I am so stoked about this, you guys. And we're going to add a few drops of our doTERRA lemon essential oil as well. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> one little extra one snuck out. Mm. And it just smells so good. I love it. Just the act of doing this is so therapeutic. You could just see the crystals and the lavender and the lemon. And it just smells so heavenly. I cannot wait to uh, pamper my feet with this. Um, I also I would like to try to take a bath with this as well. And... Uh, this is great to use around the time of the full moon if you want to take a full moon bath. Lastly, I know I didn't put these in my ingredients before, but I just had the marvelous idea to add some rose petals um, that I harvested from my rose bush outside. Um, so I'm going to just crush them up and put them into my mixture because what's better than lavender and rose? I think those, I think it's like the prettiest combination and it's gonna really make my sea salt look so pretty. So I'm just gonna give those a good mix and you wanna definitely break them up as much as you can. I just put a few petals. You can put as much or as little as you'd like. Not only do you just have to use this as a bath salt, you could also use it as a little offering on your altar. Because, you know, the gods and goddesses, they love their flowers. And the salt is a good agent for protection. And the lemon just makes it smell so clean and summery. So, there you go, you guys. So, there's our lemon lavender rose, sea salt, um bath salts, it could be a foot soak, it could be an altar offering. Now it's time to fill our magical jar. Okay guys, so I topped off my jar, I put its little lid on. I'm just so in awe of how good it smells and how lovely it looks and I'm just so excited about it. I can't wait to use it in a bath or maybe I'll do a foot soak later. And I think now it needs a label. I measured out the label that was already on this jar and I scanned it into my computer. And then I designed this label on Photoshop and it has all my information on it. Bohemia Magic Herbal Apothecary and it has all the ingredients in it and it says what each of the herbs is for and my affiliation with doTERRA and a um, little FDA, a uh, little disclaimer. On this side I have the uh, directions for however you want to use it and um, I'm saying that you could use this as a relaxing foot soak or as a bath salt or you can even use it on your altar as an offering for to the fairies or whatever gods and goddesses you work with in your magic. And also on the bottom I thought I'd have a little fun with another little cautionary disclaimer. Um, it says excessive usage of this product may turn you into a fairy <laughs> and I thought that was really funny so I'm gonna put that on my jar like so and I also made a label for my top lid like so I just scanned the lid in so I could get the size and then I designed the circle logo on Photoshop as well so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue the labels on using my Mod Podge glue so, here we go. 
So I'm going to use a disposable styrofoam brush to apply my glue with and I'm just going to apply it to the center portion of the label and I'm going to press it down from the inside outward so I get rid of any air bubbles that there might be and I'm going to continue the same for both sides and then once that's all done I'm going to put a clear coat of the Mod Podge glue over the entire thing. This is going to seal it in and give it a nice glossy finish. Now I'm going to do the same thing for the top label. I'm going to apply the glue directly to the lid and then press down on the label and smooth from the center outward, avoiding any air bubbles. And I'm also going to seal that in with the glue as well. Now I'm just going to finish off with some pretty decorative ribbon and this makes a beautiful gift to give away, especially when you're on a budget. I think homemade bath and body products are the nicest gift ever and they're so easy and fun to make. I'm so excited about this. There you have it. There's my lemon lavender rose foot soak or altar offering. And I just want to encourage you all to have a magical rest of your day. And I can't wait to bring you more magical videos of me cooking up some cute little enchantments in my magical kitchen. So Thank you so much. I'm Justina, and you can check me out on Bohemian Magic Studios and JustinasWorld.com. Have a magical day, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Mwah. For more information about doTERRA essential oils and to purchase products from my retail page, please visit www.mydoTERRA.com slash Justina Carubia.